It's not oh it's weird. Oh. I thought the mic wasn't gonna work either. Hi guys, how are you? Thank you for being so patient today. You guys are amazing. Um, I wanted to do, you know, q and I know it wasn't written down for the VIPs, but I decided I really wanted to have this time with you guys for this kind of short showcase that I have. Um, so let's take this time and make some memories. You guys ask me questions, yeah. I answer them, and we just kind of hang out. Yeah. Yes. Uh, all right, cool. So she's going to be picking who asks the questions, and I'll be answering them. Okay. So here we go. Okay. So we'll start with question number one. Over there. Yes. You want to get a tattoo? No, I've been getting a lot of these questions and for things, but you shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, because first, I don't have good writing. Second, I'm not good at drawing either. And for you to get it on your body, I get very nervous. Um, I am under the pressure. So, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... Uh, I don't know, like I, I've seen people with my writing tattoos and they are they do look beautiful. That was well done. But like one like one fuck up from me <laughs> like on your body forever. So I do not want to take that responsibility right now, at this moment. Okay. Yeah. We'll take up the responsibility from Muzong and we'll go on with the next question. Okay. Right over there. Yes. Yeah. Uh, when did I finally realize, wow, I finally made it? I haven't realized that yet. <laughs> you are here. Uh, I am here and this is beautiful and amazing. Um, I don't know what your definition might be of finally making it, but um, I think my definition of finally making it would be Stadium? Not even stadium. Not billboard number one. I think it will be more of when we've had these memories for over 20 years and I'll finally say, hey, I think we had a good <laughs> We finally made it here. And, you know, I think that's when I'll think that. So, no, but I do feel amazing that I get to uh, perform in front of you guys. And it's amazing. Aww. Yeah, thank you. All right, next question. Over there? Yes. Uh, first of all, also, like, you are today. Um, what are you doing on those days when you have, like, a lack of motivation? Like, what are you doing on those days? Lack of motivation? Lack of motivation? Um, I just don't do anything. <laughs> Honestly, when I have, yeah, yeah, you, uh, when you have lack of motivation, why force it to have motivation? I think just kind of uh, do you, do things that make you happy and um, kind of try to just get over it. But it, doesn't, it, it might take one year, it might take a week, it might take one day, it doesn't matter. Uh, I think we all have different timings. It doesn't have to be so fast, right? So I just take time off. All right, one question from the back, maybe? <laughs> yes, yes please. Today was not a bad day. I thought I thought it was a very good day. Um, yeah, but on days where we have just all the things that go wrong, I just let it go wrong. There's nothing I can do. Uh, I gotta accept it and then just uh, make the best out of it. Um, you know, and just expect expect that anything else can go wrong, and and I'll be okay. Yeah, at the end of the day. Okay. Over there? Yes. Hello. Thank you for coming. Uh, when I write, what is my mindset when I write together with the rose? And 
my own songs. So the difference. Um, what's the difference? Okay, I think the di biggest difference is with the rose, uh, nobody makes the calls. <clears throat> nobody can say, I want to do it like this, so we're going to do it like this. Even though you say that, it, it, it won't go through. It needs to be like a four people decision. Um, you know, we all own 25% of the rows. So if, you know, one day I really want to do something, but Hajun doesn't want to do it, then we can't do it, you know? And vice versa, no matter what. So um, my solo project is a little bit different. If I want to do it, I do it. <laughs> it's uh, in my head and what I want to show you guys. So I think the mindset of going into the rows is patience. Um, going into solo is being more decisive. Yeah, not leaning on people to kind of help me out with the decisions because then I tend to regret it later on. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so we're going back to this side. <laughs> One of the yellow. And it was all yeah. the <laughs> love at the stars. I love the song. Like, how 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 do you feel being the first one in Germany at football? Oh, how am I feeling? Uh, that's a great question. How am I feeling? <laughs> um, honestly, though, it, it, because I came here with the rose, it doesn't feel that different. I feel like. Um, <laughs> I just, I'm just missing my members. That's how I feel. It, it makes me miss them more going to uh, these countries and cities that I've already been to with them and performed in front of, you know. I know some of you guys have uh, come to the Rose Show and seeing familiar faces, getting the energy, it makes me more excited about our shows that are gonna happen very soon. Um, other than that, it, you know, it feels good. Uh, I, I love Europe, and you guys know that, and I love, I think I want to really travel here and take my time here, when I do get some time off. Yeah. Thank you, nice shirt. Next question from the first row. Yes? Two questions. The first one is really hard. Would I take that and then read your question? Is that what you said? Oh, so just read the question, but who do I answer it to? Just by myself? <laughs> okay. Where do I pick my outfit? Oh, okay, okay. Where do I pick my outfit? Usually, okay, so there's not one store that I go to. Um, I like a certain fit, so I go around a lot of places looking for whatever this fit is. But if you, uh, the more common ones that I've been wearing recently is, I'm not sponsored by them, uh, C2H4. They have, yeah, C2H4 is pretty good. Uh, these pants I bought, uh, they're vintage pants. I don't even know what they are. Someone wore it before I just bought them. <laughs> And yeah, like, that's how I find my clothes, so, yeah. You want to give me that and then, and, okay, if you want to give it to me, I am not allowed to receive uh, anything because it won't be fair for everybody, but I'll read it right now. I actually think she's going to take a question back if you read it out on the back of her face. Then send it to my PO box. Do you know my PO box? Yes, please send it to my PO box. Because if I start taking things, you know, I didn't take anything for the last concerts and it's not fair for everybody, right? Thank you for understanding. Send it to my PO box though. We have someone there that's going to be collecting everything. When I go back, I'll look at it all. Yes, just as a side information for everyone, if you want to do send, uh, get, send in gifts, you can just email your information and then you can send in the gifts. So yes. just for you to know, so to Thank be you. fair to everybody. Yeah, because I don't want to get gifts that I really love, but I have like limited space, yeah. guys. I can't take it all and I don't want to throw them away. Uh, yeah. All right, next question. There's like really so many questions. I already promised to her. Yes. Hi. Biggest 
greatest and proudest moment right now. Vera, her name's Vera. Hi Vera, I'm so sad you couldn't make it. Uh, we have a great show next time. Come when we're here with the Rose. Miss you, bye bye. <laughs> You know, you, do, you guys do these like weird parts, I can't. <laughs> I, 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 I try, but I'm like... <laughs> yeah. yeah, is that <laughs> Okay. I do think that we don't have that many questions left, but... Right here in the middle. There must be an advantage to being in the middle, yeah. Thank you, hi. And hi. first of all, thank you for the show tonight, I know despite all the mishaps, you did great. No, thank you. Um, secondly, I wanted to ask you, um, in setting up your own company and running your own company, what did you kind of discover about yourself that might have taken you by surprise? I think uh, what I discovered, okay, so she asked, uh, running my own company, what did I discover about myself? Yeah. And there was one big thing I discovered was that um, my myself as who I am everyday life is not a good, good personality to run a company okay. and be bossy. I'm always more like, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. You're Just too be, chill. Yeah, yeah, too chill. And but what what happened was I adapted to it, and I you know sometimes I can't be too chill, then nothing will happen. <laughs> so um, I realized that then I have two personalities. Okay. <clears throat> one for when I have to get shit done. Okay. And one for who I am as just like this. This is who I am. And uh, uh, in terms of MBTI, it, it turns out that it's ENTJ for business, okay. INFJ for my personal. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, yeah. That's what I figured out. Um, Thank you. I'm, I have two personalities. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying. Did you actually measure that? when you were those two different? So yeah, I, yeah, I took the MBTI uh, quite a lot of times. I took it like in Korean and English many, many times. Right. That's what I got, the results, yeah. And I did, I did it like thinking like, what would I do in terms of like business partners and stuff like that, and I took the test. What would I do in terms of my family and like really close friends and took okay. the test, and that's what happened, so. Oh, okay. Thank you. I took that question for you, I'm sorry, but now you get to know him better, maybe? Okay, um, another question maybe from the back row? From the back, back row. The there, yeah. Nice t-shirt. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> First, uh, even if everything went wrong, you know, you guys were here and you guys are amazing. So I knew it's not, it doesn't make me sad. It just makes me frustrated. So I would not cry because everything went wrong. Um, but like I said earlier, I think this, this might be redundant, but it is what it is and uh, I just gotta go through it. Um, I already expected that more things were gonna go wrong ever since my guitar was missing and my end ears were missing. I came here, uh, it was my, the in-ears were not in-ears, they were headphones. Um, we did rehearsals. Uh, my nose is plugged up, and I don't know if you guys can tell. No! Very nasally, but, you know, uh, if I get frustrated, I think more things would go wrong. So I kind of tend to just chill out. Yeah, just accept it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm walking over here. The next question. Back here. How can I? How can I say I achieve happiness? Um. Achieve. That's hard. I don't know how you would achieve happiness. Um. I think, I think for me, right, I think it's more like uh, I'm always in this middle ground of being
being happy and sad and accepting happiness as it is and sadness as it is. So I don't try to really achieve happiness, but I am happy when I'm doing my shows like this, uh, seeing you guys, also hanging out with my friends, traveling, I'm happy then. Um, just spending time with Wolfie, Aww. happy then. Just the normal things, just sitting down at my house, doing nothing, no <laughs> pressure, being lazy. That's what makes me happy, yeah. Alright. Actually, these questions are so deep. <laughs> 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 so I'm curious about the next question. Okay. Um, I think we're coming to the last few questions, actually. So... <laughs> it's so hard to choose. I'm so sorry. <laughs> And then someone was like, Lost in Paris, perfect for a song name. On our Discord. I don't know if you guys are on our Discord. Yeah! Oh, yeah, amazing. So we got a, quite a few people. If you're not on there, go on our Discord. We engage more. We can have our little inside jokes. It's our, it's our new fan cafe for the Rose. Um, I learned it for you. Thank you. I learned it for you guys too because that was my first time actually trying Discord. Um, so yeah, uh, the, the weirdest way, that was pretty weird recently. Um, sometimes, uh, like, like, you know, how Moth came about, I could just be sitting outside a convenience store, and then I get inspired by a creature that I don't really like, <laughs> that I didn't really like. Even now, uh, when I see Moths, I'm not gonna say, like, they're beautiful. So, like, when they come at me, I'm kind of scared. Not gonna lie, but, you know, trying to get over that. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> you actually held up your hand the whole time, so this this goes to you. Um, first of all, I want to thank you for the holy show tonight, but also um, letting queer artists be part of your oh, journey. Of Seeing Miss Nana Youngkim, I butchered that name, uh, in your music video for Praise has forever changed my life. Oh, thank so, you. I'm glad you felt that thank way. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, now to more stupid questions. <laughs> Actually, we had a wolf. Um, and another moth. Yeah. Which is the next animal? Yeah. Yeah. So we have wolf and uh, we have moth. Which is next? <laughs> <sighs> I haven't thought that far yet. But, <laughs> but um, I'm sure I'll come up with something that's related to animals or insects or another living thing. Uh, I think I like analogies and those uh, comparisons of things. And, Honestly, I haven't thought of that far, but I, oh, actually, recently, uh, recently, we were in the car coming here from the airport, um, and then we were talking, and then we came up with this idea of, like, human necessities. I was going to call, uh, I wanted to call, and then I wrote it down on my notes for my new next solo album. I don't know if I was going to use it, but to say it, it was, I was thinking maybe essentials, and then we'll have, like, We'll name the songs as like what human essentials are okay. by the order of which I think is most important to me. That's what I was okay. saying. So like there's like <coughs> yeah, there's like eating, you know, breathing, sleeping, <laughs> um, the other thing. <laughs> um, and then I was gonna number it 